Hello, and welcome back to 403 Forbidden's video tutorials on Auto IT Scripting, Part 5. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to make a message box do something once a button is pushed. If you look in the help documentation for Auto IT, under the message box function, it says the return value. If the button is pushed OK, cancel, abort, retry, ignore, yes, no, try again, or continue, it gives back a value. Almost all functions return values. Usually, it just returns something such as zero if there's an error, but or other than that, just doesn't return anything. But message box is one of the functions that does return something. It returns a number based on what button is pushed. To capture the return value of the message box, we just set the return value into a variable like this. What this does is it opens up a message box that has yes or no on it and it asks to push a button. Right now, oh, well actually it's okay and cancel. I choose the wrong flag. Right now it doesn't do anything because we haven't set anything up. First off, let's make sure that flag is right. All right, the decimal flag needs to be four for yes or no. There we go. It says to push a button, yes or no. It sets the return value in a variable called dollar sign var, which we will just call variable. What we're going to do next is go like this. By the way, a handy trick, hit Control T to tidy up your Auto IT source. It gets everything in the right tabs, and it changes the case to, ev to the right case. For instance, if we mess it up like I am right now, and we hit Control T, it puts everything in the right place. Alright, so what this does is it takes, it pops up a message box, and it, the flag is 4 which means it has a yes and a no button. And in the title it says push a button, and in the text it says push a button. It saves the return value in a variable called variable. And then it says, if the variable equals six, which when you look in the help documentation means that you pushed yes, oops, then say message box, you pushed dot dot dot, you pushed yes. If it's seven, then say you pushed no. Again, we can make this a little bit easier to read and make it smaller by going like this. There, that's a little easier. So, let's run it and see what happens. Also, a handy trick, hit Control F5 to see any errors that are in your script. Right now at the bottom you can see there aren't any errors, but if we messed up the syntax of a certain message box function, and we hit Control F5, it'll say error, syntax error on line 4, character 27. There we go, no errors, tidied up, ready to go. We hit F5, and the message box comes up and it says push a button. If we hit yes, it saves the data into variable, which is going to be 6 if we pushed yes. And then if variable equals 6, then say you pushed yes. Let's try it. Whoops. Sorry, it likes to do that sometimes. It says, you pushed yes. Let's try it one more time. Hit yes, message box comes up and says, you pushed yes. If we hit no, 
it will do the same thing. You push no. This is also very useful. If a per person says yes, and you set the variable to be 6, or no, and the variable is 7, then you can run different actions based on whether it was put, whether the button that was hit is yes or no. Just like so, right here, except for much more advanced things. Say, would you like to extract the file? If it says yes, extract the file. If it says no, just don't do anything. What you can also do is, if you only want a reaction to yes and nothing to no, is simply take out the part that says no. So, well, here, let's change some stuff around real, real quick. All right. It says, push yes to have a message box pop up. You pushed yes, and here I am. But if you push no, since we do not have an if loop here, nothing will happen. You don't, you, you only need to put a certain if loop for a reaction for the certain button that you want a reaction for. You don't need one for the no. Thank you for watching tutorial number 5 of 403 Forbidden's Auto IT Tutorial. I will see you in the next tutorial.